एक्ट्रेस विद्या बालन एक ऐसी एक्ट्रेस है जिन्होंने हमेशा स्टीरियोटिपिकल नोशन को तोड़ा है कि एक कन्वेंशनल बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस को कैसा दिखना चाहिए मीडिया के साथ अपनी रिसेंट इंटरव्यू में विद्या ने बताया कि वो मेल लीड के अपोजिट रोमांटिक रोल से बाकर सेटिस्फाई नहीं थी ये सिचुएशन उनके लिए तब बदल गई जब उन्हें फिल्म इश्कियाँ ऑफर की गई एक्ट्रेस ने कहा कि उनकी पिछली कई फिल्में बॉक्स ऑफिस पर हिट साबित हुई हैं लेकिन वो मेल लीड के विपरीत रोमांटिक रोल निभाकर सेटिस्फाई नहीं थी ये सिचुएशन उनके लिए तब बदल गई जब उन्हें इश्किया मूवी ऑफर की गई and i was playing roles uh, of the romantic interest in a lot of my early films um but i it wasn't satisfying me i wanted more substance and uh, therefore after a, you know a lot of my films worked very well commercially so uh, i i know that people there were some people around me who said you know why do you want to really um topple the apple cart um why don't you just you're getting good work continue to do it i said good work is very subjective you know i feel like i'm not contributing anything and i think i was feeling like i was sleepwalking through some of those roles in films because i i felt it was this anyone can do i was mistaken i have to say that there is um there is great talent in doing what your quintessential bollywood heroine does uh, with conviction but i couldn't do it and at that point i was offered a film called ishkia the role of a woman who had agency you know um the role of a woman who owned her sexuality who um who was very she she was you know your femme fatale and all of that but there was a simmering strength in her uh, and it i was when i was offered that role i i thought oh my god this is what i've been waiting for but i was told that oh you know it's it's not a commercial film an actor a female actor gets one such role in her career which is of substance and you do it and you get the awards and you go you go ahead so i was like whatever it is i don't care i'm doing this film you know um they also i remember they also felt there were some people when i say they um, you know some people around you who who mean well but who don't necessarily anyway <laughs> so so i i was told that it's it's um, it may be an art house film and that distinction i've never understood but i said i'm going to go ahead and do the film and i felt like it had just been 3 years since i started my career and i felt like i was reborn as an actor i felt like oh my god this is my purpose i'm actually living someone's some another human being's life you know it was not um i knew this person it's not like sometimes i came out of films and i didn't know who i had played it was that not well defined but here i felt like she was a living breathing woman who had this deep desire for revenge and did not stop at anything uh to get that you know and i said okay now let's see how this film does and then you know if work comes my way great i'll do it otherwise even if this is <laughs> um this is my so called last film so be it but i because i enjoyed the process but i think i was at the right place at the right time and things were turning because things were turning around us you know uh, suddenly th- this process hasn't happened overnight it's been happening it's still happening and in c- cinema i really f- believe is a reflection of what happens around us so that change was actually now there were people who were writing stories where women were finding their voice where women were coming of age where women were you know um doing as they pleased with their bodies and i think it was just one thing led to another after ishkia i got offered no one kill jessica which was again so i think it just set the ball in motion and here i am you know so it was not just about me i think that change was actually happening all around us and was slowly at that time it got reflected in cinema so i was very very fortunate work friend ki baat kare to vidya balan jaldi hi apni upcoming film niyat mein nazar aane wali hai